computer, pause. So taking a few deep breaths in and out, however feels comfortable, nose, mouth, either way. Feeling the effort and the demand of breath for oxygen. Manually, physically, consciously, slowing down the breathing, capturing it, controlling it, before letting it go. Resting your hands however feels comfortable. Checking in with the body, relaxing any tight areas. Softening the jaw, the face, the eyelids, forehead relaxed. Check in with your breath. What kind of breath does your body want right now? Is it craving long ones, fast ones? Can you let your body just breathe itself? Watch how the natural reflex of breath is to pull in more air once it's completed the exhale. Can you pinpoint that boomerang effect on the out breath and the in? Feel your heart breathe in your breath. Can you release control of the breath? And know also if the answer is no to all these or any of these questions. It's perfectly fine. It's a practice continual effort and holding it with compassion, present moment awareness, lacking expectations, an intention for an outcome, but not a demand, a detachment from a holding strong in your awareness, in your stance for the thing, the things you desire. We'll transition to the believe section of the triple B. So believing is about evoking feeling states it's about tricking the mind, leveraging it in our favor. And so with that, simply just starting to conjure up things that you know and don't require a lot of belief, things that you know you're grateful for. Material items, accomplishments, friends, family, loved ones, lovers. Mentally checking off, making your gratitude list knowing that that is the feeling of gratitude. Naturally, automatically, such as a reflex. Your favorite person, your favorite animal, gratitude. So grateful for you, for this, for that, for these. For this, grateful for that, grateful for these, grateful for you, grateful for my. And 
now we'll take that knowledge, the knowing, and we're going to turn it outward in the form of love. And, and bring to your mind whatever, whoever comes up first. I'm just really feeling and believing the best for that person. Particularly if there's jealousy, envy, greed, hatred, delusion. Replace those with may you be happy, may you be joy, may you be in love, may you be strong, powerful, confident, loved. I wish the best for you. I can't wait for you to get your happiness, your joy, your power, your love. I know you. Not the actions, but the character. I know you. I know that you desire the same love our confidence that I do. And if you don't believe it, it's okay. It's a practice. Now we're gonna take that belief of others and conjuring that love feeling or empathy, even sympathy, and we're going to now turn it inward onto ourselves. This may be the hardest, but conjuring up feelings of pride, proudness, of accomplishment, of satisfaction, contentedness towards yourself. What have you done in your life thus far? What are you proud of? What do people tell you that they love about you? Even if you don't believe it, it's a practice. You're funny, you're smart, you're beautiful, you're powerful and replace those yous with I'm. I'm so fucking proud of you. I'm so powerful, I'm so in the flow, I'm so productive, I'm so motivated, I'm so powerful, I'm so loving, I'm so generous. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so hopeful, I'm so open, I'm so receptive, I'm so willing. And lastly, we're going to take that knowledge, that inward, that outward, and we're expand it into the future, into your vision, your dreams, your joys for the future. And bring it to your mind the life as you design it yourself. Anything, anything you can, you can paint it to be. You're a blank canvas. Who knows what destiny has in store for us? What this life will offer or bring to us? Or what we will bring to it? Your talents, your capacities, your brilliance your crafts, your skills. You're on stage, performing, singing, speaking, touching lives, making an impact. You're writing a book of poems. You're writing a book of self-exploration, your journey, an autobiography. Creativity in its best. We all have it, tapping into it, expanding it, evolving it, presenting it. You're honing a home, your dream home, in the mountains, on the beach, in a tropical area somewhere. You're flying all over the world in your own helicopter, your own jet, your own hovercraft. Anything is possible. You're coaching, you're coachable, you're changing, you're changed, you're transformed, your brilliance is expanding and evolving and glowing, inspiring others, your vulnerability is palpable, your future is gold, cement, platinum, titanium, strong, just like you. Namaste.